Time teaches the best lesson. Mr. Leo and his wife Abigail moved into a two-room rented house with their three daughters, Sana, Olivia, and Lily. They lived with their brothers in their ancestral home previously. As the time passed, the family grew. So, everyone decided to sell the house by mutual consultation. The elder brother bought a new house. But Leo preferred to buy a shop. He had good work experience because of working in the shop for a long time. He knew the ins and outs of running a shop. He had developed a good business sense. He had learned how to manage finances, deal with customers, and purchase goods at the right price. His experience had made him confident that he could run his shop successfully. He said that when we have a reasonable income, we can easily build a new house. One day after dinner, his wife raised the issue about girls' school. She said that their old school is too far away now. I will search for a good school for girls tomorrow. Their time should not be wasted at all. Leo said. After some days, Leo's brother and sister-in-law came to meet him. They also discussed girls' school in their conversation. Brother. What is the need for a good school for girls? Let them study in any ordinary school. After education, they will become officers. Eventually, after getting married, they will go to their next house. If there was a son, it would be understandable. Spending so much money on girls is foolishness. Leo's brother expressed his opinion very carelessly. Brother. What kind of things are you talking about? Leo said in surprise. Sister-in-law said, That is right, you are making a mistake. Daughters have to go to their next homes anyway, so what is the need to spend so much money on them? Now look at our sons. We have four sons. If they get educated even, they still have to take over the business with their father. Moreover, there is no benefit to getting an education these days. It is even harder for educated people to get jobs these days. It is better to save the money. Leo's wife was also shocked to hear this and said, Sister-in-law, Good education is important for both boys and girls. If they get a good education, they will be successful not only in business but also in society. That is not true, sister. Even educated people are wandering around here and there in search of jobs these days. Now tell me, what is the use of such an education which cannot get you a high-income job? But I am in favor of giving good education to children. And I will not back down from it, Leo said bluntly. As you wish, Leo. We have explained to you as much as we could. Now you know better how things work out for you. After these people left, Leo's wife started complaining to him. Why are your family members so against girls' education? What do they get by saying such things to hurt us? I am very angry at their mentality. Dear wife, why are you getting worried? Ignore these small things. Tomorrow, when these girls become our pride by getting a good education, these same people will never get tired of praising them. Time is the best answer. You just have to be patient. Leo worked day and night in his shop, but he never forgot his priorities. He knew that his family came first. And he always made time for them. He was proud of his success, but he was even prouder of the fact that he was providing his daughters with a good education. Despite his humble beginnings, Leo had always believed in the power of education. He knew that education was the key to success and wanted to make sure that his daughters had every opportunity to succeed in life. And so, he worked hard to provide them with the best education possible. Years passed. Leo's daughters continued to advance in the field of education. 
Olivia had a special love for literature. She made a name for herself in English poetry at an early age. At the same time, she continued his medical studies and then became a qualified doctor in the army. Sana also became a high-ranking bank officer. Lily was interested in law, so Leo admitted her to the best law college in the city. She was a student in her third year. The girls who were opposed to getting a good education had now become the pride of their family. Everyone admired Leo and his wife's hard work and discipline for their daughters. Days passed. One day Leo's brother and sister-in-law came to meet them. They looked worried. Leo, you and Abigail proved it by doing what you said. Despite our opposition, you left no stone unturned in the good education and training of your girls. Today, we need a big favor from you and your daughter Sanaa with a special task. Brother, we just did our duty. You said, we will do whatever we can, God willing. You already know that our business is not good these days. Leo's brother started saying, now the children are also married. In such a situation, it has become difficult to earn a living from a single shop. I wanted your daughter Sana to get her cousins employed somewhere. Thank God. Our daughter is working in such a big position and she has relations too. Leo's brother finished the conversation with great humility. That's right, uncle. Sana said, but your children did not even complete their education. They quit only after matriculation. Now it is more difficult to get a good job in such a situation, but do not worry. I will try my best. Don't worry, everything will be better. Sana said while comforting her uncle. Leo's sister-in-law was ashamed of this situation. Well, we did not do well with our children. They said, After finishing their education in the middle of nowhere, we engaged them in the business. If they had continued their education, they would have become something special today just like your daughters. It is just you and Abigail who looked after your children very well. We will never let go of this lamp of education that you both have lit. Leo smiled and looked at his wife, who seemed satisfied with this timely response. Leo and Abigail's daughter's success was a testament to their hard work and dedication, and they knew that they had done the right thing by investing in their education. Their success could not be measured in terms of Leo's business, but also in the happiness and success of his family. He knew that he had achieved his dreams. But he never forgot where he came from and remained humble throughout his life.